Never give police permission to do this. Never give police permission to do this. Hi, my name is Corey Scott. I am a criminal defense attorney here in the state of Indiana. And I get this question. Well, actually, I give this advice all the time. I tell my clients, I tell my personal family, uh, friends, never, ever under any circumstance should you do this. And here's what this is. Never give police, law enforcement, consent to search your person, your car, your residence, period. And I'm going to give you several reasons why I give this advice. Because here's the, here's the, the, the counter argument. People want to say all the time, well, you know what, I, you know, Corey, I wasn't doing anything, so I wasn't really worried about it. You know, I didn't have anything in my car, so I'm fine with police searching my car or searching my person, etc. And that's fine and that's well and that's good. But here's the problem with that. And this is the reason why I give the advice to never allow police to do this. Because let's just start with, we'll start with your, your person in your car. Let's just talk about it. So you have a vehicle and most of us, we have family members, you know, we have wives, we have girlfriends, we have boyfriends, et cetera, et cetera. Um, we have other people that are involved in our lives. And so a lot of times we'll have, uh, we may have a family vehicle, but we're not the only one that drives a vehicle. I mean, you know, we may even allow our friends to access the vehicle from time to time. So you get stopped. You know that you don't do anything illegal. You know that you don't have anything or haven't placed anything illegal in a car. But perhaps the last person that drove the car, be it a family member, be it a friend, be it someone that was just a passenger in the car, maybe they left something in the car that you don't know about. You get stopped. You believe in that you're good to go. You give the officer the, the right or the consent to search. And unbeknownst to you, there is something illegal in the car that can land you in big trouble all because you gave consent. And so that's just one example. Let's just, let's just take it back to the house. So you know you don't keep anything illegal in your house. You know that you're home should be good to go. If the officer want to come in, let him search or whatever. But here is the problem. You know, and I'm not saying that officers would do this. I don't know whether or not they will or not. I know that in my career, I've had allegations that police have, in fact, left things in the house or intentionally even planted something in the house. Or the same thing going back to the car example. You know, you don't know everything that's in your house. It's impossible to know that because, again, we have family members, we have friends, we have other folks that may access the house from time to time. So number one, just like the car example, there may be something that you don't know about. The other thing too, though, let's just say that you let officers in and it's three of them. One of them's there talking to you in the front room and the other two start walking around because you've given consent to search. And lo and behold, they can leave something in your house. They can plant something in your house because you never know. But here's the thing. If you never give consent, you never have to worry about this. So bottom line is never give police the consent to search a person, to search your car, to search your home. If you have questions about this or something related to this, call me. I'd be more than happy to talk to you.